Good morning, class. Today, we're going to discuss formal and informal greetings in English. Greetings are an essential part of communication, and it's important to understand when to use formal or informal language, depending on the context. Let's start with formal greetings. In formal situations, such as professional settings, meetings, or when addressing someone in authority, it's important to use more polite and respectful language. Common formal greetings include good morning or afternoon or evening, followed by a title and a person's last name. For example, good morning, Mr. Smith or good afternoon, Dr. Johnson. It's also common to use formal greetings when meeting someone for the first time or in more conservative cultures. Hello or nice to meet you followed by the person's title and last name is appropriate. For example, hello, Professor Davis or nice to meet you, Ms. Johnson. Now, let's move on to informal greetings. Informal greetings are used in casual and familiar situations with friends, family, or peers. Informal language allows for a more relaxed and friendly tone. Common informal greetings include hi, hey, or hello, followed by the person's first name or a casual nickname. Informal greetings can also include phrases like how's it going or what's up. These greetings are less formal and can be used among acquaintances or in informal settings. For example, hi, John or hey, Sarah. Remember, when using informal greetings, it's important to consider your relationship with the person and the context. It's not appropriate to use informal language with someone you've just met or in a formal professional environment. Let's practice. I'll call out a scenario, and I want you to choose whether a formal or informal greeting would be more appropriate. Raise your hand to answer. Ready? Scenario 1, meeting your teacher for the first time. Formal greeting. Correct. When meeting your teacher for the first time, it's appropriate to use a formal greeting. Scenario 2, seeing your best friend in the hallway. Informal greeting. Well done. When meeting a close friend in a casual setting, an informal greeting is suitable. Now let's see some daily life examples of formal and informal greetings. Good morning, Professor Johnson. How are you today? Good morning, Justin. I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? I'm good. Thank you. I wanted to ask about the upcoming assignment. Of course, I'd be happy to help. Please feel free to ask your questions. In this example, the student initiates the formal greeting by saying good morning, followed by the teacher's title and last name. The teacher reciprocates the greeting and asks about the student's well-being. The student then proceeds with their question, and the teacher responds with a polite willingness to assist. The conversation maintains a respectful and professional tone throughout. Hey! Long time no see! How have you been? Hey there! I've been good, thanks. How about you? I'm doing great! Just catching up with some old friends. Want to join me for a coffee? That sounds fantastic. I'd love to catch up with you over a cup of coffee. In this example, the friends use informal greetings to express familiarity and informality. They start the conversation with an informal greeting like, hey, and mention that they haven't seen each other in a while. They inquire about each other's well-being in a casual manner and express their positive feelings. The conversation ends with an invitation to spend time together maintaining the friendly and relaxed tone of informal greetings. Everyone, remember, understanding the difference between formal and informal greetings is crucial for effective communication in various situations. Practice using the appropriate greetings, and you'll become more proficient in English etiquette. See you in the next session, thank you.